आइए ना आपकी सहज ना आइए ना ये लाइट आया हो कहिए खाली नोटों में तक ये सोनो आपको वो जो ये सकियो आते हैं ना सोनी आने मात्रे को रा माने को रा कोई मशहूर तो नहीं है कमाल को तू तो आते हैं इसका लोन खाली इसका लोन तक ये तो सोनो आपको वो जो ये There's so many other drugs, but specifically for osteoarthritis, there are very few drugs that work in human beings. So this is one of the big obstacles, and one that we haven't surrounded yet, is that um, there have been quite a few com compounds that seem to work in animal models, and then when you try start trying it in human beings, they don't work so well. The hope is the, the thing that gives us some hope is that on human cells, we've tried it on, on human blood cells. And in that case, it did seems to be quite good at suppressing inflammation as well. Joint, and here I can introduce some forceps. And I can take very tiny samples and remove that piece of tissue. And the fine tissue when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. fungus doesn't infect an insect very often only very occasionally and that's probably that switch how when it starts infecting an insect that's when it produces the cordycepin so we need to understand how that works and the interesting thing is that probably the cordycepin the fungus makes the cordycepin to repress the insect immune system because otherwise it can't infect it and the effects that we see for of cordycepin on mammalians on, on rats and mice where we've looked are uh, are s similar in the fact that this doesn't so much suppress the immune system but suppresses inflammation, which is part of the immune system. Fungus seems to be present in the soil in quite a few places. Uh, and perhaps when it encounters a suitable insect, it will infect it. But then you would expect more of these fungi to appear because it's quite rare that you see them. So it's probably an additional trigger that is needed. And we are, it's one of the things that we are in investigating. It's hard to get a good patent protection and because of that it's hard to get the investment that would be needed to actually do a clinical trial with cordycepin itself. Uh, if we went that route we would would probably have to go entirely with charity funding. So at the moment we're not looking at doing that. We are trying to make, uh, trying to understand the compound better and trying to make new analogues that would be even stronger. Yeah. Okay. We're about ten years behind. 
as far as our ultrasound. I think so because uh, so the, the the publication that we've just done is we showing it it works for mo um, in animal models of osteoarthritis. Now osteoarthritis there is very little, very few medicines that actually work long term, and especially painkillers that work long term. Um, there are many people in constant pain with osteoarthritis, and it is the most common joint disease. So there is that it is basically millions of people are in pain with osteoarthritis, and even even if only a fraction of those can be helped with corticepine, that is going to be an enormous relief.